Okay, so just now I saw this uh, nice update from Ashpreet, the CEO of Fidata, that Fidata has this agent, which I knew already, but uh, he also mentioned about instead of asking the LLMs, if 9.11 is greater than 9.9, .9, just give them the calculator tool. And I find it pretty interesting. So I wanted to make an agent in data button via screenshot of this particular uh, code sequence. And it's very easy to make. So screenshot from agent in just few minutes. What I will do is I will jump over to data button and I say create a test agent only with uh, UI. Data button can also build the backend from the first prompt. But right now all we care is creating an UI for us and using this uh, screenshot we will create the backend which will be in Python. Data button uses Python as the backend. So let's give that a try. It says, I'm excited to help you build your app. Let's create a test agent with a focus on the UI. I'll get started on the first version right away. And now I hope, I hope it will create a first version of UI. While it creates that, I will just send this screenshot and I will say, this is a backend, basically a calculator agent using FiData Python package. Make sure to use this code from the screenshot. That's one. And also, instead of print a response, just run the agent. And as you can see, the very first minimal UI looks actually very good. It's like a minimalist chat interface for testing AI interaction. Super cool, okay? I, I really like this black outline of this. Anyways, when I said that, it says, I will help you create a calculator agent backend using FiData. First, let's install the required package. And now it's actually installing the required package. If I go to notification, it says that, yes, it's installing the package. And if I go now to config, in data, in data button, there is something called as config, where you can see, yeah, the package getting installed. So this is the package which is getting installed. And here we see, also, data button takes care of the secrets, which will come next because our agent needs uh, an LLM provider to run. So for that, we need the uh, we need the LLM API key as well. We'll come to that, but I'm just showing you now it's vacant now. There is nothing else. I have created a calculator agent that can help you with mathematical comparison calculation. The app is now fully functional with both backend and the frontend integration. You can try it out. Ask comparison question, 9.11 bigger than 9.9. .9. I think that was a question. Yeah, exactly. That was a question which Ashpreet also asked to its own created uh, calculator agent. Data button agent is very conversational. So if you're someone very new, data button agent is really good in having conversation with you and help you throughout. So it says that I should test it out. But before testing, let me also test this backend, which is typically in Python for all Python enthusiasts. Data button uses Python as the backend. It has a backend. Okay, it has a backend which is using Python and not only Python, it is using fast API router. You see the fast API router is, is very robust in nature. So what will happen, I will also show that how this backend is connected to frontend. I will come to that. Before that, let, let's go through the code block once. Uh, it's exactly how it was in this uh, screenshot. So data button agent from screenshot to agent, it works seamlessly. Now it's time to test this backend. I will say, can you test the calculator backend? In data button, you can also test your Python backend. That's amazing, okay? Like, it's creating one, you can test it as well. That's powerful it is. And the first error, which it came here, this is a console box, it's saying that setting open API key, uh, open API key environment variable. So it says that, I see the issue. We need to fix API key to enable the calculator agent. That's right, we don't have any API key here and we need to fix that. So I will provide with this input key, OpenAI API key. Let's do that. Okay, it's time to pass the OpenAI API key. I added it. I will hit the send button. You will see now, if I go to config, it now has the OpenAI API key. So data button agent also takes care of your secrets. It maintains environment variable. It will be way more clear when data button agent actually imports the secret. I will show that as well. If you see here now, the OpenAI API key is actually imported from the secrets and data button has its own internal SDK called db.secrets. 
while running, it, it was testing it while running, it got some error here. Check it, it got some error. It, okay, so ask the agent to, to debug this part, as you can see. This part agent just uh, went on checking here. And now it has came up with this, this, this entire additional few lines of code. And that's great. Okay, now I'll just ask, uh, can you test the endpoint? So I'll just give a hash here and I just hit the calculator. Let's see if it could, if it works or not. All it added was the final answer and the, the message and uh, that's it. All the, uh, it extracted the response from it. I hope it works. It looks like it's working. Super cool. Okay, so great. The API, the calculator API is working perfectly. It's successful. Receive the calcul uh, calculation query, process it using the Phi agent, return the correct result in the expected format. That's super cool. Okay, it just took me three minutes to test and do the entire stuff. So from image, it wrote down this entire uh, code. The only changes which we made in this screenshot, it had print out response. So if you're using Jupyter Notebook, then it's great. But if you are connecting your endpoint to the front end, you need to run the agent. I think that's what one way you can do. And then the agent figured it out, that error which we're getting here a lot. That one is mainly for this final answer from the last assistant message. That's what I guess it, that's the error. Otherwise, everything looks pretty, pretty cool. And now if I go here, let's see if uh, nine point is greater than nine point nine and I ask it, it's, it's a, sorry, there's an error while pressing the request. Okay. Uh, what I would do now is I will just say fix error. Maybe, maybe the back end is not connected to the front end. Well, you can also confirm that in data button by seeing the brain. Yes, that's right. The brain dot chat is not well connected. So we need to fix that. Not we, it's data button who will fix that. It's updating the app page. I hope, I hope this thing will go away. Okay, it's, it's, it should be fixed now. And as you can see, it says that await brain.calculate. There's a query input. That's fine. I'm still worried about this cannot find name brain. Let's see if data button can fix this part as well or not. I've updated the code and yes, yes, yes it, it has done everything. I hopefully, let's see. But I still see this error here. I'll just still add this here because I see this error here, okay? Our main goal is to create this agent from screenshot. I think we have successfully done it. We have tested it. Now it's all about nitty gritty of the front end. I hope that would be solved right now. Okay, it's up in the app page and it's solved right there, live in camera. Just, uh, you can cross check with the timestamp as well. And now if I go back, there should be also a clean uh, chat button, but it's okay for time being now. I'll just refresh this app. That makes everything clean now. We just care about getting the response out. Let's go back here to Ashpreet's question. If 9.11 is greater than 9.9, .9, and now we see a post call. So the front end is triggering the back end here, and we see output. No, 9.11 is not greater than 9.99. .9. We made it work. We made it work. We made the agent work from this screenshot to create a back end in Python and we now connected this to a front end here. We just need to deploy. But before that, let's let's test with a few more questions. So can you give a few complex questions to test? Just give the question. I'll test. I'm just asking the, uh, the data button agent to give me some complex question. If I invest, it looks like a great question. If I invest dollar thousand with 8% annual interest compounded monthly for two years, how much will it have? Oh, that sounds challenging. This could. Meanwhile, I'll just also deploy. Okay, test agent UI. It says, it says it's calculating here, built for, I'm doing a lot of things together, but I hope the answer will be here soon, very soon. The post calculate is finished. I hope the answer, yes. So if you invest dollar thousand with 8% annual interest, rate compounded monthly for two years, you will have approximately $24,160. I don't know if this is the correct answer, but that's what the agent says. We can compute and do it ourselves. Let's try another one. It's very interesting. We'll keep one question for the deployed version as well. And now if I go here, actually, why am I doing here? Why can't I just do a preview here? That also would look nice, but for timing, it says you will need 4.1.25 cups of flour to make 1.5 times the recipe. Super cool. We don't even need the preview now because we have a deployed version. I just go here, 
preview loaded well, but it's all good. I go to the deployed version. This is a deployed version. You can try it here. Of app test agent UI. And now I'll just go for the next one. What is 15% of 230 plus 25% of 180? This is this is very interesting question. I like it. Let's see if the agent can answer it or not. It should be nice if it has more uh, responsive UI, but it does the job. 15% of 220 plus 25% of 180 is 79.5. Is it correct? I don't know. I think it works with the calculator agent. I'm expecting that to be the correct answer. Or I can just go to chat GPT. Here is it. Moment of truth. It does all these things. Wow. Wow. I think we have the same answer here as well. 79.5. Done. Now, is this a full stack app? Yes. It has a front end. It is a back end. Can we use somewhere this part of it? This agentic thing? Yes, there where this becomes very powerful because ChatGPT can now do all this stuff. But can you integrate in a product? Yes, because with data button, you can build a full stack app. You can make way more complex UI. You can add multiple pages. You can add multiple backends. You can add a public image and just put it there, make it better. This is just a way to show how powerful this image or the screenshot to creating code to creating a full stack app and from here we can just expand this app i hope i hope you guys like it i will also share it over twitter and tag ashpreet here if he would like it or not but i think this is a great start to have a screenshot from this kind of post and create a full stack app from there cool i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what you all think see you in the next video